carbon is the foundation for life on earth. We can find this chemical element in living cells, in rock formations and in the atmosphere. Carbon moves through earth systems via a natural and delicate balance of storage and release known as the carbon cycle. But human activities are disturbing this delicate balance. Let's find out how. The global carbon cycle where carbon is exchanged between the atmosphere, biosphere, oceans and land has helped sustain essential processes on earth for millions of years. For example, plants store carbon through photosynthesis and release it back into the atmosphere during decomposition. This cycle is relatively fast and gets completed within a few years. When the plants and other living organisms get buried and compacted over millions of years, they bring the carbon with them into rocks like coal and limestone. Our oceans are major carbon sinks. They can hold up to 50 times more carbon than the atmosphere. Oceans store carbon when the atmospheric carbon dioxide or CO2 dissolves at the ocean surface and carbon slowly circulates down to the ocean floor. The use of fossil fuels, deforestation, production of concrete through limestone, all are examples of human activities that release carbon from storage reservoirs into the atmosphere. But if we release more carbon than can be stored, we can overload the system and the amount of carbon in the atmosphere increases. As a result, the greenhouse effect and the global temperatures increase. This also causes more atmospheric carbon dioxide to dissolve into the ocean, making our oceans more acidic. This affects our corals and the marine life and ultimately our food chain. Global carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere have varied in the past due to the natural variability of our climate. But the current level is higher than anything we have seen in at least the past 800,000 years. Over the last 40 years alone, global carbon dioxide levels have increased by 20%. And this is mostly due to human activities. What is also alarming today is how fast things are happening. Over the past 60 years, the annual atmospheric carbon dioxide level has increased about 100 times faster than during previous natural increases. With the emergence of new technologies, we can improve how we measure atmospheric carbon dioxide and also measure it at more locations. This allows us to better estimate the level of atmospheric carbon dioxide which in turn could improve our understanding of the global carbon cycle and its impacts. We can mitigate some of our impacts on the carbon cycle by reducing our carbon emissions and by removing carbon from the atmosphere. We can, for example, store carbon with nature-based solutions that conserve, manage and restore ecosystems. These include replanting mangroves and wetlands and managing land use for forest regrowth. We can also consider nature-based solutions in urban environments by, for example, designing green infrastructure and increasing green spaces in cities. And we can develop new technologies for carbon sequestration. For instance, we can bury carbon dioxide deep into the earth in conducive rock formations. Through enhanced commitment to reduce carbon in the atmosphere, we can work together to restore balance to the global carbon cycle.